Hi, we're Richard and Jackie from Early Retirement Wonderlust. And we're in a very cold and frosty Yellowstone National Park. If you've not seen any of our previous videos, we are in the first week of a five week tour of the Rocky Mountains. My mum is on a mission to do the 50 states and this is, I think, state 42. We had a cracking day yesterday, first day in the park in Yellowstone. Um, a bit of an experience in terms of how busy it is, but we did all the tourist things yesterday. Um, have a look and see how we got on. So we had a bit of a trek up from the Grand Tetons yesterday straight into the Yellowstone National Park and the first place we headed for was Old Faithful which was really really impressive. We had about half an hour wait for it to erupt, uh, really lovely atmosphere, lots of people sitting around. The steam coming out of it kept taunting us and a couple of times it did a little mini eruption and then it just went <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that really impressed us though was the stuff that was around the edges and we didn't realise what a sort of active area it was and there were so many little hot pools and mini geysers going off. It was, yeah, quite a volcanic sort of area. One of my favourite ones, actually Old Faithful was really impressive for the height that it went up, but there was loads of little steaming pots and they were just so dazzling blue. Um, they were just stunning. And then we have started to master finding the best places to have lunch and have picnic lunches. Yeah, we just sat in the van with the doors open, watching a buffalo graze and then he got a bit lazy and had a sleep with a bald eagle flying and circling around fishing. And we just had two hours of decadence. 
So then our next stop was the beautiful and stunning Grand Prismatic Springs. And we'd actually hooked into this from Wonderlust magazine. It was actually on the cover. Um, and it is just an incredible steaming pot of crystal clear rainbow colours. And then we headed further north to a probably our most rustic campsite. We're staying at a place called Madison Campground in Yellowstone Park. It is really rustic, we couldn't get any hookup to go with the van, but it's more like what we do in England when we've got a camper van Nelson that we travel with. It's got bear warnings because it's in an active bear area and it's in the forestry area, so we've all got our own little pictures hidden in the trees. And we've just come down here this morning on a very frosty morning. We've got the place to ourselves, in fact there's a fisherman over there and that's about it but it is just gorgeous and the campsite is waking up slowly there's no phone signal here um, <laughs> it's been a really good digital detox so then for today oh gosh what are we doing today i've lost track of all the things that we're doing um we are heading up to a place called hayden valley that's supposed to be a really good place to spot wildlife and we're going to see yellowstone lake and the upper and lower falls which are supposed to be really impressive Well, we've had a couple of days of searching for animals in Yellowstone Park and it's not disappointed. We haven't seen a bear and we haven't seen a moose yet, but we've got one more chance driving through the North Gate today. But we did see, um, quite surprisingly, two coyote that were hunting a deer and we watched them as they sort of stalked through the long grass and then just suddenly shot off. It was quite incredible, but not as incredible <laughs> as Jackie screeching when I'm driving along that there are lone buffalo at the side of the road demanding that we stop immediately regardless of what the traffic's like. So we had a few near misses on that one, didn't we? We did find a few lone buffalo wandering around and they're so impressive and so calm and really oblivious to the roads and the traffic. We did have to actually stop at one point because one just sort of sauntered across, stepping onto the road, didn't even look, wound his way past us and off he went into the forest. But that was pretty cool and he was huge. But the best and probably the highlight of our holiday so far was the Buffalo traffic jam. We had, we were near our second campsite, uh, which is at a place called Fishing Bridge. And we were going across the flatlands and you could see lots of traffic stopping and you know there's something ahead when that happens. Uh, so it could have been a bear, but no. There's about 30 buffalo, complete with all their little calves. They were on the side of the road, but just as we approached, they started crossing over. Then the, the, the daddy of them, the, the, the big bull, it almost acted like a matriarch. He was stopping the traffic so the rest of the buffalo could cross. But then he decided he wasn't moving. But it was all okay because then the park <laughs> ranger came with all blue lights flashing to try and clear it all off. And what proceeded then was probably 20 minutes of what could be best described as a Mexican standoff between the biggest bull buffalo and this ranger truck. And I think, to be honest, 
the bull won. He was <laughs> he was standing his ground. He was being nudged by this truck, and he was nudging back. Um, it was the most incredible experience, and one that will just last a lifetime in our memories. Yeah, I did stand video in it for a while, and then the buffalo started coming down the road towards us, so I pegged it back to the van. One of the big animals I wanted to see were the elk, because we've seen them before, and they are just so majestic, but clearly really elusive in the park and it was only yesterday as we were driving out of the park that we had a chance encounter and what an encounter it was yeah i could see again the cars were all stopped um, and i could see about three or four different elk in the river so we stopped and watched them and they were walking along the other side of the river and they looked at us there's about 15 people taking lots of videos and photos and they just crossed the river right towards us and then sauntered along in their own little slow pace it was just the most amazing experience and you forget or we forget how enormous they are they are really majestic but considerably bigger than the deer that we've been seeing and just to see them wandering past was just an absolute gift there wasn't a stag with them so they weren't as scary as they could have been and then the other thing we did yesterday was we revisited the prismatic springs because we wanted to try and find the spot where the iconic instagram photo was taken Yes, this is the photo that I'd seen on the front cover of Wonderlust magazine and I'd always said that's where I want to go and we went and visited it the other day and we, you've already seen some videos and photos from that but you couldn't see the colours so we did this hike, it was only a kilometre, uh, very busy um, but to look down on the, the springs, the colours were like the rainbow, it was so vivid I thought people were enhancing all of the photos and it wouldn't be like that when we got there but it truly was And just for your entertainment, we've got a few <laughs> pictures now of Instagram and how it all looks and then a little bit of b-roll of Instagram reality because it was an absolute bum fight and it was an illustration of how different cultures react in different environments and yeah we just want you to see the reality of what it's like at places like that. But it was truly stunning and well worth the hike. So today we're doing a little bit of a cheat day because we haven't seen any bears and we haven't seen any wolves. So we are in West Yellowstone. We've stayed at a lovely campsite uh, last night and today? Yep, we're going to the bear and wolf sanctuary and it has sea otters as well. Not quite sure where they come in because we're nowhere near the sea, um, but at least we're going to be guaranteed to see some grizzly bears. And I'm really excited because I've seen lots of videos of them. Um, it's a charity and one of the things they do to bring money in is product test bear proof stuff so companies send their stuff they video the bears ripping it apart and then send it back to tell them what's wrong with it <laughs> and i had the most surreal experience this morning trying to film some b-roll of uh, the sun coming up and i came out actually to here and all you could hear across the town were the wolves howling from the sanctuary so yeah really looking forward to today yeah very excited <laughs> <laughs> 